my dear ones. This is a timeless pick a card reading with the topic What do they think of you? with me Quina Cups Tarot. And this reading is sponsored by Michelle. If you want to support my channel in the same way as Michelle, you can follow the donation link in the description box of this video. Um, for this reading, you will have four different pals uh, to choose uh, from. The first pal is uh, here to the left and it's a golden universal tarot. And the second pal is golden tarot of the Renaissance. The third pal is Barbieri tarot and the fourth is golden Botticelli tarot. You can listen to all the readings and see what resonates or you can choose one of the pals intuitively and go directly to your chosen pal with the guidance of the timestamps that's in the com comment section and in the description box. Take note that the reading can be in the reverse for some of you and if you need more information or help after you have listened to these readings you can turn to the love reading for Taurus season that is up or you can check out the pick a card and near personal readings on the first page of my channel. Click the headline of each playlist to see all the videos that the playlist contains. And I will give you a moment to choose your deck while I'm uh, tuning into the readings. Okay, so I hope you were able to make your choice and I will start reading for you from pile number one. So I will just remove these other piles. And from the Lover's Oracle, tar uh, Oracle deck, we have this uh, beautiful heart here, which says, look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is deep as the ocean. So this seems to be a person that is thinking uh, that they love you, okay? They have a lot of love for you and they might also feel like you are the kind of person that can have really deep love uh, for someone else. And here we have the different cards, but I will show you these oracle cards first. This is from the Grace cards. And here we have Self and uh, shine so uh, it feels like um, they are very impressed with you and that they feel like you have um, you can really be proud of yourself because uh, uh, you have you have done a lot of great things for others and also for yourself and for them uh, that have made you into a real good example and it seems also like you have been working a lot on on self-love and to uh, to learn to take care of yourself because if we are this kind of person that holds a lot of love for other people sometimes we can um, drain ourselves and so we need to remember to love ourselves so I'm going to read this for you and uh, go within when we invest more energy in developing our spiritual lives the outer world begins to take care of itself and uh, this is saying, step into the light, you're a gift uh, to the world. Uh, so I'm getting that um, this person might not have shown a real appreciation for you before, but now uh, they do have a lot of uh, appreciation uh, for you. Okay, so and here we have the golden Botticelli Tarot. So I'll put out uh, all these cards. And we have the Page of Cups. Uh, I can show them to you before. Page of Cups in the reversed. And then we have Three of Cups also in the reversed. So I'm feeling that they might have acted immature and uh, uh, in some way maybe not appreciated the love uh, that you gave them. And here we have also Two of Cups, which seems that uh, they are thinking that the relationship were uh, unbalanced uh, maybe to your disadvantage and uh, then we have the king of cups uh, so they are thinking that they uh, want to be a better person for you and we have the devil but they don't know if they can 
make this happen. And uh, here I have the two of swords, uh, which I'm feeling more is what they actually think of you. And it seems like you have taken your distance uh, from them and they think that you might not love them uh, anymore. And then we have the Knight of Wands in the reversed. Uh, so they're also very scared to reach out to you. Um, maybe because they fear themselves uh, that they might not be able to um, fulfill the responsibilities that they would have if they did reach out to you. And here we have the nine of coins in the reverse. So they are telling me that they think that you are very unavailable at this time, very hard to reach, very hard to get close to. So it might also be a little bit scared here. And the next is the uh, hero font uh, in the reversed. Uh, so it's some problem with commitment. And then we have the eight of pentacles. So it's a person that they want to work on this. So uh, what I'm seeing here um, when they think of you is mainly I see you in these cards here. So they think uh, that you are very um, a grand person um, that um, has a very high moral standard and, and good values. And, and they love you to, to bits and pieces, but um, they feel that they have been very irresponsible. Maybe they played uh, some games in your relationship. Maybe um, also they had a hard time taking responsibility for your relationship because they might have already been in another relationship. Uh, or they involved you in some third party situation. So they weren't uh, able to give themselves fully to you. They want to do that, but they have some deep... Uh, uh, issues with themselves uh, that uh, um, is their main focus uh, right now and um, they are also very scared in the same time that they will not be able to reach out to you if they would try because uh, they, they seem to think that you are very um, shut down and that you are in this mood where you want to only take care of yourself and not have anything to do with them. Um, the hero font here in the reverse is also telling me that this person might still have problem with committing to you, uh, but they want to work on their problems. So this person doesn't really tell me much about uh, what they are, are thinking of you. I, I believe um, with what I'm feeling here that they kind of think that you are perf perfect. <laughs> I'm going to read this. Look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is deep as the ocean. I think this person feels that there's no flaws with you, that you are a perfect person in every sense and that they uh, they are sorry for what they have put you through and uh, they are sorry they couldn't be more responsible and that they couldn't uh, show you more of the love that they actually had. But they blame this on um, situations from uh, their childhood and from their families kind of patterns in their families that have made them unable to really show love in a in a great way and um, with the king of cups here and the eight of pentacles they are telling me that they are working on it but if they would come to you now uh, they would come still as this person that uh, isn't good enough for you uh, so they feel also that you are a better person uh, than what they are so they don't want to um, they don't feel like they are worthy of you, uh, basically. Um, another thing that I can uh, see is that they are feeling that um, you are a little bit cold towards them at this point. You might not answer their text uh, or um, um, not answer their calls or uh, you might decline meeting up with them. Or if you live in the same household, you can be very... Uh, cold and closed uh, off and not to, wanting to talk about your day and, and things like that. And it's because you you um, constantly become disappointed by this uh, person. Uh, so you rather want to be on your own and taking care of yourself than to, uh, to sit around and wait for another disappointment, uh, basically. 
and um, they are working as hard as they can to try to uh, be good enough for you here uh, but there's no saying when they will succeed they have kind of tough cards here to work with the devil in the upright position is them being really stuck in whatever negative pattern it is that they have they might feel like they have parts in themselves that's not really good or not really pure um, and it might have to do with some um, side to them that uh, is bitter and angry and want control um, and um, it's always survival um, survival <laughs> mechanism here so when a person acts like this it's really because they are uh, afraid that something will be taken away from them but they can't uh, help but uh, behaving uh, badly even if that itself it's what's in the end are going to take you away from them or already have been the reason to why you have walked away from them uh, so sometimes it's like this that a person or often we can see this also with ourselves that it's very hard sometimes to uh, to control our deep emotions and uh, deep emotions like jealousy and um, also uh, the want to be liked it might be that they're staying in a situation with another person because their family says so uh, it can be uh, things like this having power over them as well that they might also feel it, that if they leave their uh, the other relationship here they might also feel like they are letting someone down that can't take being uh, let down we have a page of cups here so it might be children involved in this situation uh, so even if this person loves you to bits and pieces uh, they feel stuck in their uh, situation which they are in right now and they can't uh, at this moment in time reach out to you, to you for two reasons one is that you would probably decline uh, their attempt to uh, reach out or to try to make things better because uh, you're already so colored in their view you're so colored with what have happened that um, you would dismiss them immediately as a, a little bit of a doofus <laughs> and uh, the other uh, thing is that they need time to work this out uh, inside themselves so they can be a, um, a better person for you and for everyone in in their surrounding so um, they think all the world uh, of you they think you're very self-sufficient and uh, a very competent person you also have very clear boundaries and you don't want to be mistreated so they recognize that and uh, if they stay away from you now it's um, out of um, uh, out of respect okay so I hope that was uh, helpful uh, for you and if you I want to thank you so much for watching and if you want to support my channel you can do so not only by watching but also by commenting liking subscribing and sharing my videos and you can also donate to my channel through the link in the description box or you can make Google uh, donate uh, to my channel by clicking my ads or watching them for 30 seconds or to the end of the ad whichever comes first that is keeping my humble revenue up so that I can still free up time to make content for you on this channel so I'm sending you all my gratitude in advance so now I'll pick together these uh, these cards here and I will move on to pile uh, number two which is the golden renaissance uh, tarot uh, yes <laughs> okay so here is your pile and we'll start with reading this um, uh, love oracles card give thanks for the blessing of love soon to come your way know that you deserve to be and have all that your hearts truly desires uh, so this person uh, when they are thinking of you they are thinking of a person that uh, deserves uh, love and uh, it might be that they think that you haven't got the love that you deserved uh, in the past and uh, they want you to kind of shin up and, and not uh, uh, not be sad about that <laughs> okay so I'm going to see also these oracle cards and it's uh, grace cards and we have connect and watch uh, so it might be that this person is uh, watching you uh, 
uh, a little bit from afar and um, as in the previous reading I did they seem to have a little bit uh, fear of reaching out to you that you in some way um, they're thinking you are unavailable or they are thinking that you are uh, disappointed in them in some way I can see the uh, she has some moisture here in her eyes um, and that you are in this state of very uh, you want to protect yourself so I'm going to read the back side of these cards uh, find your center when we stay connected to our spiritual core the best and most advantageous path unfolds before us and um, watch for a miracle coincidence are divinely inspired moments designed to remind us that a higher power is guiding our lives as uh, so i'm thinking that this person feels a little bit um, um, helpless to the fact that um, they might not have the same feelings for you that you have for them and they want to wish you all the best it can also be this that they had the same feelings for you as you had for them uh, but um, they logically have problems to see this relationship really working uh, so we're also going to check out the chart cards and here we have the death card uh, so it might have been an ending uh, between you previously and then we have the nine of cups card so the nine of cups card uh, i'm feeling it's this person and that this person is feeling very self-content uh, with their decision uh, or uh, with um, maybe they did something for you to end the relationship um, and uh, they still feel kind of content with that so um, they try to be very um, unshaken um, by uh, what might have happened between you there with the death. And then we have the uh, nine of swords. Uh, so I'm thinking that this person has this kind of attitude of... Um, um, it, it's almost like they enjoy having people um kind of worship them or look up to them and and that they have the power to decline uh, that person so it might be that this person at this time have troubles with uh, feeling or authentic love uh, so they don't really know what they feel for you that's why i felt a little bit insecure and what they are thinking is that they are kind of enjoying uh, tormenting you a little bit and it seems like they hope uh, that uh, you feel tormented uh, by uh, a previous maybe a breakup or something else that have happened here with the death card that might have put a blow to to your relationship or or to you in particular and and they seem uh, fairly happy with this um, it's almost like they are the king in the castle uh, I'm thinking about this king that had eight wives and um, some of them got decapitated <laughs> and uh, um, they just went on with with another uh, another wife so um, okay so next card here it's the the nine of pentacles so nine of pentacles is a worry that they have that that, that you are not affected by this at all that you actually have a good time and that you are not uh, um, really that sorry or that tormented as as they would hope uh, so that seems uh, to be their fear because when I picked up this card I felt uh, fear so I'm thinking this person is trying to show themselves out to be a person that is um, uh, very gracious with high moral values and um, that they are so very controlled with their emotion and they can say no to love when it's not right uh, because they have this uh, very logic and uh, outlook on life and so they are kind of patting themselves on the back a little bit for this uh, they know you to be an empath it seems uh, they think that you're an empath and you might give a little bit too much in in different relationships and um, we have 999 here uh, after the death card. So it seems like both of you are kind of single right now or parted from each other and maybe people in, in general that you're a little bit isolated or uh, living this more free kind of life. 
and um, next card here it's the um, uh, queen of swords and uh, <laughs> so i'm feeling fear here again so they are thinking again that that you are actually not tormented at all but you are about to uh, to move away from them or cut cords with them or totally forget about them and that's very scary to them when you have this kind of attitude because i think that you are this person and they are this little person um, so why they have been tormenting you maybe uh, maybe with uh, breaking up um, or showing you that they don't care enough for the relationship to to stay and fix it they rather put um, up this facade of uh, um, being this very logic and smart person that wouldn't uh, waste time with any destructive uh, relationships um, and um, so I'm feeling like it's a person that almost deflect uh, all their problems on you. Um, but they kind of want your attention because um, they feel they crave your attention. And if they can't get your attention by um, normal things as um, making you happy, they might try to or they might not be able to make other people happy. So they want your attention by uh, seeing you in tears. Uh, so I'm thinking this person was trying to um, make you um, going into some kind of dramatic state where you felt very tormented. Uh, but they fear that you aren't, okay? They fear that you're doing great and that you are not tormented by this situation at all, but you're actually about to forget about them. And here we have this um, Knight of uh, Pentacles. Uh, so the Knight of Pentacles is also very peculiar because it feels like they think that even if they broke up with you, it was just for show. Of course, they still want to be uh, together with you, but they just want this uh, kind of dynamic between you two where they uh, pretend that uh, they, don't, they are not as invested in this relationship as you are. Um, but for them, it still goes on. And um, I don't see them really forgetting about you. They take this for granted that you are still in a way an item so they can push you as far away as they want and you will still bounce back but the fear is that now you won't do that maybe in the past you did but you have disconnected yourself uh, in a way so you won't get emotionally disappointed uh, time and again uh, and they seem to watch you from afar and and still have this idea that you are uh, close together it might be that you are close together but that this person says we should only be friends and uh, we shouldn't uh, be in a relationship we are more meant to be uh, friends or not see each other as much or uh, whatever they voice um, and here we have the little knave of pentacles so in real um, I'm feeling that this person is very nervous uh, about this situation on the surface, they are saying all these words maybe to hurt you or to make you feel um, like you mean nothing to them. But uh, at night, um, it seems like this is the only thing that they can uh, think of. So this person is a little bit self-centered. So I'll see if they can think a little bit more of you and less about themselves. And here we have the <laughs> a, a Ten of Pentacles. Um, okay and it's an underneath the nine of swords so they see that you are doing great in some way and and you have found solutions to your different problems and it seems like you have things going for you in your life and and um, that you have built certain kind of values so it didn't went the way that they hoped that they would be able to maybe crush you uh, with their behavior it seems like you uh, made it out just uh, just fine and you might have relied on family and friends to help you back the cow is a, a image we have the mother here it's an image for the mother a person that selflessly gives uh, to her children like earth but also how we can surround ourselves with people like this and be that kind of person ourselves towards people in our proximity um, so they're very worried because they seem to think that you are doing great uh, nine of pentacles ten of pentacles and you don't seem to care about them 
and, and they feel like this little baby here um, that maybe try to make some kind of uproar towards their mother and then the mother just continue with the dishes or something and didn't uh, even notice uh, the rebellion here. Uh, and then we have uh, the three of cups here. I want to see it with another three of cups together with the two of cups. Okay. Um, so this is more wishful thinking uh, from their side is what I'm feeling. And that is that uh, you will remember the good times that you had together and, and that your relationship will be re reunited uh, is what I'm feeling here. So I'm going to see this a little bit from above perspective uh, to see if I can see a little bit more. Um, <laughs> So they are also fearful that uh, you are, um, they might see you, they might believe that you have found someone else and that you are happy in that uh, relationship. Uh, for some of you, it's like that. And, and they would want to be that person instead of the person you might be or might not be. Because I think they are watching you and they might try to interpret certain uh, things on your social media and other things and, and try to understand if you are together with someone new or not. And uh, they don't want you to be together with someone new. They want you to come running after them and, and, and beg for the relationship. But you seem to be fine here. You know, you have found your solution with the key and you have your playing your harp there or your violin or fiddling or whatever it is. Uh, and you don't seem too uh, bothered with them being away. And you might want to, uh, they feel like you want, might want to focus on having more healthy relationships um, that you are not distressed by this breakup at all, but you are just, uh, um, it's like you have taken over the role now of how the image that they wanted to show you was that they were doing fine without you and, and that you were replaceable in some way. And now it seems like they think that, uh, that you have the aces in <laughs> your hand. Uh, that you don't feel very upset with the breakup and, and that they are replaceable. Uh, so it actually seems like uh, they, they have um, dug a pit for you and, and they fall into this pit themselves, uh, unfortunately for them. But um, I guess this was a disappointment for you with this, but you seem to have, if they are correct in their... <laughs> in their estimation of your situation you seem to do do fine without them and maybe it's easier to live life uh, without someone always trying to squeeze out more tears from you or or more uh, surprised looked looks or shocked looks or whatever it is that they are trying to get from you it's like they want confirmation that they have power over you in some way and um, so it's it's like the little child wants to have power over their parents by forcing them to buy uh, toys and candy and things like this but it, because the child doesn't like to be helpless uh, so it wants to see if it has some power in the world so i think this person is actually feeling very helpless and they are trying to get power um, in the world by maybe getting power over the closest uh, um, friends and loved ones uh, so uh, and it's um, of course um, alienating them from the people that they want love from so it's not particularly healthy uh, but this person needs to learn to love themselves and to not uh, have to manipulate other people to get certain reactions for their uh, fulfillment or self-contentment okay so <laughs> uh, thank you for watching and i hope uh, this was helpful and if you want to support my channel, you can do so not only by watching, but also by commenting, liking, subscribing and sharing my videos. You can also donate to my channel through the link in the description box, or you can make Google donate to my channel by clicking my ads or watching for 30 seconds or to the end of the ad, whichever comes first. That is keeping my humble revenue up so that I can free up time to make uh, content for you on this channel. And I'm so grateful uh, for all that you do. Um, just by watching this, I am grateful to you. Okay, uh, so I will take together these cards and move on to 
uh, part number three. <laughs> so, checking the time. Okay. So, part number three. It's with Barbieri Tarot. And uh, the heart card here is from a lover's oracle. And it says, you can see this image here with a butterfly and a, a person with tears and a, an awakening, tingling third eye there. Reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. Uh, so it seems like... Um, um, this person wants to give this relationship some time to heal uh, or that distance between you will will make you uh, maybe get over what might have happened in the past so we have awakened and rest uh, so when they look at you they see that you have smartened up uh, your act uh, uh, maybe recently or uh, during the past year or something like that and, and that you have um, kind of understood what in your life was uh, stealing energy from you and and that you have maybe taken smarter uh, um, decisions to enable you to heal and uh, recuperate and, and rest so i'm going to read this for you uh, keep your eyes open when you decide to live a more conscious life we see signs of grace everywhere so they think you have become a smarter person when it comes to choosing what's best for you. Uh, and then we have rest. Take a mental break. A quiet mind has a direct access to wisdom and insight. Um, so they seem to see that you are in some kind of cocoon, um, <laughs> cocoon kind of lifestyle right now, uh, where you are just resting and recuperate from what might have been before. So it might be that you have had some kind of um, fallout or a little quarrel in, in the relationship. And um, um, probably you were able to pin down some of the problems that they might have hidden from you, or maybe they didn't know it themselves. Uh, so they're a little bit surprised with this awaken, is what I'm feeling, uh, that they are surprised that uh, you were able to see through them like that. And uh, I also sense that you might be disappointed on them and uh, that um, they don't like to be judged. Uh, so they feel like they want to have time and space between you two. Um, maybe so you will forget what you, uh, what you were able to see so <laughs> that you won't pin it on them or that you um, will not ask of them to, to change or better their ways or something like that. Uh, so I think they're, if they are trying to prolong the distance between you or not making an effort to say that they're sorry, uh, I think it is because they are mainly scared of um, taking responsibility for uh, the things that you have seen and the things that you might want them to change. Uh, so maybe they don't want to change or they think that that work would be overwhelming or too hard. Um, so they feel that you are disappointed on them. And uh, as long as they can't live up to your expectations, um, they want to act as if it's better if you are apart. And it's because they want to protect themselves from uh, feeling stupid or bad or like a bad person or being judged. Um Yes, okay, so these are your tarot cards. And here we have the, the it's the devil. Um, so I'm thinking this person had probably behaved a little bit strange in the relationship and, and done things that seems to be almost compulsive behaviors uh, that they have been uh, acting uh, foolishly or self-destructive or destructive towards you or the relationship or things that uh, uh, maybe you both hold dear. Uh, and here we have the nine of cups uh, so it feels like they might have had either sexual uh, temptations out of the relationship or they have had problems with drinking or other types of abuse uh, and it comes it's the nine of cups with the devil so it comes from a uh, somewhat um, um, empty self-esteem like someone building up their self-esteem uh, with for example being either terrifying or super cool uh, or um, um, I'm so cool I don't care about anything or <laughs> something like that 
um, they get their image out of this and that's also giving them a certain amount of um, like self uh, respect or self enhancement where they are uh, maybe they are replacing uh, non-existent self-love and self-respect with this fake kind of energy um, so maybe when they were cool it was cool to drink and they do just continue and they feel super cool when they do it but it's not cool at all it's destructive and uh, then we have the king of pentacles here so that actually feels like you <laughs> like you didn't accept this kind of behavior uh, hell no uh, you said <laughs> i don't want this behavior in my my backyard or in my house or in my family or in my friendships uh, so you didn't approve of this uh, kind of behavior at all so when you were awakened to it it might be a gamble gambling problem or maybe they um, uh, like porn addicts on they have a lot of stupid stuff on their computer or whatever it is that you found out and you had this surprised and angry face there uh, and then we have uh, uh, the lovers here uh, and um, you really love them and they know that you have or they feel like you love them and you have higher expectations on them and you kind of idolize them. The picture that you have on them is not the same picture that they have on their, themselves. So it feels like they have a hard time uh, living up to your expectations. You think that they are this uh, kind of hero, very responsible person or person that you can trust and love. Uh, and um, they all already knew that you can do that, but you were surprised that this wasn't uh, the case. You, you had higher expectations on this, uh, this person. They know you love them, but also this love that you have for them uh, requires them to step up and, and, and become like an adult, which they have a little bit hard time doing. They just want to party all night and sleep all day. <laughs> and here we have a page of cups. So it might be that you have children uh, together as well. Um, it feels like you have, either you have children or you have withheld uh, your love from, from them because of this, what have happened. Uh, so they feel like you're almost a li little bit like a teaser or maybe they are not allowed to visit their children. Uh, it can be something uh, like that. Um, they feel like you were softer before, uh, that you were a softer person before and more uh, empathic and more loving. And then uh, w when you figured out how things really were, when you awaken to this truth, um, you got a little bit more difficult to deal with before you maybe you didn't you didn't uh, speak up so much about what you thought was right and wrong and, and you had a more pleasant attitude um, which they might they are missing a little bit <laughs> okay and here we have the emperor comes underneath the <laughs> The devil there so they think that they are very super cool and uh, they still feel like this that this is um they feel like this is a battle between you two uh, who can be the strongest here uh, so um they don't want to yield to whatever is you, you are surprised because your moral values didn't go with what they did here with the devil uh, but they want to stand tall in front of you and say no i'm allowed to be like this and i allowed to have my hobbies or I'm allowed to be myself you are not supposed to come here and uh, put judgment over me so they're going to put up a fight about this they want to keep their their habit whatever it was um, but it was a self-destructive habit but they don't want to admit to this and here we have the queen of wands <laughs> so I think it's up to battle both these cards are Aries uh, but I'm feeling this is them and and this is you uh, so, um, uh, I think this are uh, equally powerful uh, people. This is major arcana card and this is minor arcana card. So she is a little bit like uh, the challenger here. Uh, but I, I can see on these people's postures that no one is going to yield. And if this person here has a third party situation with this queen of wands, um, they are not particularly happy with them either, it seems. 
uh, and here we have the three of wands so you are trying to communicate um, now I'm feeling this is you for some of you this might be a third party but it's very few of you so if you don't know about this don't start to fantasize about anything because mostly I'm feeling this is you so you want to be straightforward communicate with this you think that this they feel like you have this idea that things will be easily fixed because you have um, this way with you of solving problems and uh, you know seeing the healthy way out and uh, uh, being able to take grown-up responsibility uh, so they feel like you are a person with a lot of abilities and capacities and that you're going to ask of them to have the same abilities and capacities but their ability and capacity seems to be limited to kind of um, um, protecting this their behavior and saying well this is totally fine um, I'm allowed to do this um, so they are in denial uh, I would say and and they kind of know you are right uh, but they don't want to admit to it and you think that well uh, this needs to be able to be easily solved you have identified the problems uh, you will talk about it you will find a solution and, and this person will, you know, shape up and <laughs> stop with the stupid things that they are doing. That is what they are feeling, that you have this kind of idea that this, this will just be fixed. It's no problem if a person just, we have identified a problem, now we're doing it, something about it. It's just that they don't want to do anything about it. Uh, and then we have judgment. So here it can come like uh, they are fearing. Uh, that you might want to give them an ultimatum because of this and that this might be the end of the relationship. It's not what something you might have said, uh, but it's something that they um, expect will come. So they are expecting like a big showdown that uh, where you will put uh, the relationship in the pot and say, this is what we are gambling about. So uh, how tough are you? Uh, here so if this person here doesn't understand that they need to shape things up and become a, a better person uh, maybe being able to take responsibility for family and children um, or for, for your inner child <laughs> to take consideration to your feelings um, there will be hell to pay this uh, queen of wands here she is uh, turning into this instead a revengeful angel so that's what they fearing that yeah, right now you might say, okay, this is the plan. This is what we will do. Uh, but when they refuse, they, they expect hell to pay. And here we have a six of wands. Uh, so <laughs> in some way, even if you might be looking like you're a person that have no real force, maybe you have acted very timid in the relationship, uh, they feel like uh, the most natural thing in the world would be them submissing to you and doing whatever it was that you told them to do. Um, but they are rebellious. They don't want to, okay? So it's like beneath them to be ruled uh, by this little entity because they feel like they are super powerful and you are this little entity, uh, that you are this sweet person, loving, warm, generous, uh, maybe empathic, uh, um, intuitive things like this and, and in a battle between you two they should be the absolute winner and they would be able to continue with their behavior and it wouldn't be a problem because you are just supposed to submit to them but they know this isn't true it's like when uh, we can see sometimes a big dog think a german shepherd or a rottweiler and we have this cat living in the house just coming in and psh, you know, and the dog is yip, 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 and uh, the cat is maybe taking the dog's uh, bed and, and the dog has to li lie in the puny, puny cat bed. <laughs> so this is the dynamic that they know this is, okay, that you are this cat ruling the household, even if they are the big, tough guarding dog. And it goes for even if this is a male and this is a female, so you know, it can be in this way uh, too. Um, but some people just have this way with them without being particularly forceful. Uh, they kind of have the leadership in their hand because of uh, um, their skills as a leader. 
and he wants to, he or she wants to, I say he because he's an emperor, wants to challenge this because um, they think that they are more powerful. So they would want to be able to do whatever the hell they want uh, without you uh, kind of bitching about it, <laughs> is what I'm feeling. And, um, and, and they feel like for you, it's the most normal thing in the world to behave in the best way possible and to solve the thing. And w when you will realize that they don't want to do that, uh, you are going to be uh, very charging like this and they fear that you are going to win. Um, so how you can win, I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe they won't be able to keep this kind of attitude uh, where they say, hey, we need to give each other space. Uh, I want to continue in the way I do and you are not happy with that. Uh, it will work out for the best. Maybe they won't be as so tough um, eventually because maybe they fear this, the judgment, the ultimatum that might come from you. Okay, so thank you for watching and I hope this was helpful. And if you want to support my channel, you can do so not only by watching, but also by commenting, liking, subscribing and sharing my videos. You can also donate to my channel through the link in the description box, or you can make Google donate to my channel by clicking my ads or watch them for 30 seconds or to the end of the ad, whichever comes first. That is keeping my humble revenue up so that I can still free up time to make content for you on this channel. And I want you to know I'm super grateful. Even if you just watch, <laughs> I'm super happy also with that. So thank you so much. And I will move on uh, now to pile number four. So taking together these cards. And here we have the pile number four. Uh, so we have the uh, lovers oracle card here. And it's to a couple that is in a warm embrace of each other and uh, stars and I don't know, swirling galaxies maybe. And we have sacred union, honor, honor and treasure your relationship for it's truly sacred. So it seems like this person thinks that the relationship that they have with you is uh, uh, truly sacred and that it's a sacred union. And uh, we also have ask and love uh, so they might be unsure uh, if you are feeling the same if you are feeling the same vibration as they do because i think they want to ask you a question of love here and they are thinking that uh, do you want to hear it or, or not so they feel like they are hanging in the balance in this so either it will be you know winning or losing or their heart will either <laughs> elevate like this because of your love or it will crash and burn so i'll read this when we call upon the divine for guidance and support we will receive a response spiritual signposts will be put in our path to guide us to our highest good so i'm thinking this person is really really trying to get the answers if you love them or not so they want to know uh, if you have the same feelings so they might uh, asking different sources or uh, praying to god or watching tar to find out if you love them or not share your heart to love another is the ultimate expression of grace uh, so um they would they hope more than think that uh, you will accept uh, their offer of love okay so and this is the barbieri uh Tarot, no, Botticelli Tarot, sorry, Golden Botticelli Tarot. And the first card we have is the Star card. So they feel like uh, this relationship between you two were really destined. And they think that um, you have some kind of uh, maybe soulmate connection or twin flame connection or that you have lived together uh, in past lives uh, together. So immediately when they met you or when they saw you, uh, they were struck uh, by the connection that they felt with you. And then we have the tower. So, of course, in every fairy tale, it needs to be some challenges. Uh, so the relationship has been challenged in some way or their viewpoint on you having this sacred union uh, have been challenged uh, in some way. And 
and then we have uh, the devil uh, so the devil is um, our lower behaviors the things that we don't like with ourselves so we suppress them and, and therefore they become our shadow and they kind of take over the show so even if we are thinking i'm not going to say that i'm not going to say that i'm not going to say that and then we say it anyway uh, so the shadow comes in takes over um, and i feel that this person fears that their shadow might have destroyed the relationship that their shadowy behavior or the things that they wish to not do and they tried and tried and tried to not do it but then they went and did it anyway that this might have uh, caused uh, the tower moment here and um, uh, then we have the world card uh, so um, despite this they still feel like you are uh, their soulmate and um, uh, that you are destined to be together and they can't uh, really let go of uh, of you here and uh, then we also have the moon card uh, so again with this they don't know what <laughs> they know what they are thinking about you uh, and that is that they are super scared of losing this relationship but they don't know what you are thinking about them or what you are feeling so they are trying they're trying to uh, batter their head with this uh, does he she love me or does they not love me and it might have a lot of sleepless nights and uh, anxiety where they're trying to figure this out so it feels almost like their life is hanging in the balance because uh, with this um, uh, the universe this oh it's the sun card sorry uh, it still goes that you are soulmates, but this is um, it's kind of the um, holy matrimony here, uh, sun, moon. <laughs> so they are wishing that that you that they think are so great will accept them uh, with their shadows because the moon is um, is just reflecting the light of the sun here, and um, they don't know if they are worthy of you or if you can accept them but they feel definitely that you are soulmates and um, it might be also that they are thinking that you are putting a lot of light onto their shadow and this is uh, scary for them it makes them very worried uh, they might be this type of person that wants everything to just be uh, wonderful and lovey-dovey and they might have this um, blue-eyed kind of perception of uh, love uh, so they they didn't want to be maybe confronted with not neither their shadow or your shadow they just wanted the relationship to be maybe perfect uh, and um, it might be that you have put some light on this that oh uh, baby uh, you need to fix this you need to work with this uh, and they don't want to see they cross their heart they, their hands or arms over their heart chakra uh, because they are fearing this they don't want to be having these problems they want to live this pink shimmering life uh, and and um, i feel like this might be a highly sensitive person either if they have uh, acted um, in ways towards you i still feel like they are a highly sensitive person that easily get overwhelmed uh, both by life and their own shadow and and, and your demands um, or your your ability to see right through them i would say uh, and they get very fearful because of this because it's almost like they are not able to hold it together as it is uh, without this pressure on uh, growing and looking at your shadow and sorting out your problems and not having this darn behavior so they seem to see you as a very wise person uh, that are able to see this kind of stuff and that are able to um, to have uh, you know an outlook on what they need to do but they don't want to do it okay and here we have the eight of cups uh, so they might have acted as if they uh, didn't want you or that they didn't care for you or that they were tired of the relationship but they weren't really tired of the relationship they were more tired of them themselves and we have 17 the star here and then minor kind of eight 17 1 plus 7 8 8 is connected to the strength card um, so this person strength card is about the person uh, learning to become a grown-up and taking more responsibility but here they didn't want to take responsibility they got overwhelmed with this work to become more responsible or more adult so they felt very uh, 
uh, drained and they might have kind of um, projected it on you and told it, you that it was your fault that they felt like this uh, and uh, that you were the problematic person that have these kind of demands or you know couldn't let them be the person that they were and here we have the queen of cups and but they know that wasn't the truth they know that you just wanted the best for them and uh, you wanted what was more most healthy for them and it was better to confront one's problems than to hide them away uh, so it seems like you had they think that you had a, a very good plan for how to fix it uh, it was just that they didn't feel uh, they didn't feel ready they become a little bit uh, grumpy with this and um, with your plan here they had their own little plan in that book and they wanted to do things as in the old book not in the new book which you were writing with these new ideas on how to to do things they preferred to hold themselves on to their culture or beliefs uh, which might have been particular for their family you can have different culture beliefs still living on the same street and um, um, maybe in their family they didn't talk about these problems they just oh so uh, we have had uh, a quarrel here but we never solve it we just <laughs> move on um, and here we have a little page of uh, pentacles it comes underneath this little baby devil here um, <clears throat> so I feel that uh, even if they become grumpy with your idea on how to you wanted to fix this um, they still think your idea was was the best one it's just that they didn't maybe feel ready but they're starting to feel more ready now uh, it seems to to check out this little devil here that's uh, on their shoulder so maybe are able to look at themselves and have a little bit more understanding for themselves more self-love and not to uh, have to uh, think that just because I have this shadow I'm a bad person because I think that's what's overwhelmed them here because they wanted to be a good person and with your um, what you saw with them here um, they felt as if you told them they were a bad person you didn't you just told them uh, how they could help themselves to deal with this shadow uh, but having a shadow was a no-no. A sun card is when we are able to see the shadow and they didn't want to see it. They wanted to keep it hidden here with the moon card. Uh, and um, But they um, acknowledged that you were right. And uh, here we have a five of wands, but you are not there, it feels. It feels like they have forgone their chances with you in their eyes so even if they want to fix it now they have yeah I had this eureka moment and okay so I understand now what they were saying and what they were aiming towards they weren't aiming towards judging me they were aiming towards uh, helping me and I understand now that they didn't think I was bad they just thought that well this is something we could work through in this relationship but now when they have this idea or just this seed to this idea uh, it seems like you are not there, so they are thinking you are you are missing from the table. And here we have an eight of wands and a seven of wands. It came out extra cards for this, so I just went with it. <laughs> so it's five of wands, eight of wands, seven of wands. Uh, they don't want to give up with this, and um, it might be that they're going to try to uh, communicate with you uh, about these issues and and how to fix them. Uh, so it seems like they are very on target. We can see it's uh, both arrows in this. So they still, this is also the one holding like the one thing. We are focused on one thing. We are not all over the place. So one thing, but the one thing isn't there. You can see it's not there. Uh, so they want to go towards it or aim towards it. So it's their goal um, to have you... Uh, in their life and to be able to do this um, they want to be good so that they can make you happy uh, they want to be a better person they want to have uh, put up goals for how to heal themselves and how to work on the relationship and how to fix the issues so they seem very ready to take this battle and to uh, be the best that they can be uh, in relationships uh, to you so it seems like they're not super focused on on you here more than that they 
know that you are right and that you see right through them and, and that they love you. But in other way, they seem to be more focused on themselves and what's their problem and, and how they can possibly get in contact with you. So they are thinking a lot about this, how they can get in contact with you. And they are also anxious, having trouble sleeping at night uh, because of their, uh, they wonder, uh, will will they be brave enough to reach out and will you be um, receiving them if they reach out or will you decline uh, their efforts? Okay, so thank you so much for watching and I hope this was helpful. And if you want to support my channel, you can do so not only by watching, but also by commenting, liking, subscribing and sharing my videos. You can also donate to my channel through the link in the description box or you can make Google donate to my channel by clicking my ads or watch them for 30 seconds or to the end of the ad, whichever comes first. This is keeping my humble revenue up so that I can free up time to make more content like this on this channel. So I'm forever grateful uh, to you. Um, also, if you only watch, that is worth uh, everything. I would be nothing without you. So uh, until next time, uh, I want you to stay blessed and uh, take really good care. Okay, bye-bye.